Greetings everyone, update 29.9 is live on PC as well as Octavia Prime Access launching on all platforms. Before we get to the patch notes, like usual, Octavia Prime Access includes the Octavia Prime Warframe, the Tenora Prime Weapon, and the Pandera Prime Weapon. You can also pick up the accessories pack via the Warframe Prime Access website. You can purchase this individually if you want, and that includes the Glissanda Prime Armor Set, the Serenadine Prime Cyandana, a 90 day resource and affinity booster, and the Arista Prime Shorzen. If you want to farm for the Warframe and the weapons in game, the relics are up on your screen, but you can of course purchase them from the Prime Access page on the Warframe website. Four different packs are available. If you want just the weapons and the Platinum, you can do that. The Warframe, the weapons, Platinum, and Icons, you can do that. And if you want the whole shebang, including the accessories pack and everything I just mentioned, then you can do that as well. Moving on, with the release of Octavia Prime Access, we have a number of items entering the Prime Vault. That being Equinox Prime, Stradivar Prime, and the Thibodeau Prime. The relics for these items can no longer drop from locations in the game. Those that have the relics, you keep them and of course can trade them with other players. And with the vaulting of those items, it means a number of Syndicate vendor sacrifices have changed. So, the Arbiters of Hexus, Sacrifice of Equinox Prime Neuroptics is now that of Atlas Prime Systems. The Arbiters of Hexus, Sacrifice of Thibodeau Prime Handle is now the Corinth Prime Barrel. The Red Veil, Sacrifice of Equinox Prime Systems is Ivar Prime Chazzy and the Steel Meridian Sacrifice of Equinox Prime Neuroptics is now the Neza Prime Neuroptics. As with each Prime Access release, we have Riven Disposition value changes. For those that want the information from that, a link to a video is in the description as well as a card up on your screen. It's a complete overview of that information. As for the additions to Warframe in Update 29.9, Nine new Octavia inspired dancing emotes have been added and you can pick them up by the emote tab in the Warframe market category. As for the game's overall changes, there's one, DE removed the ability to initiate the Nihil fight from the Ublet on another player's orbiter, which, when doing that, resulted in a crash. They made two optimizations, a systemic micro-optimization to DirectX 12 rendering and reduced prefetch micro stutters, as well as a micro-optimization to DirectX 11 and 12 rendering and prefetching. As for the game's overall fixes, DE fixed Tenno Spectres equipped with certain weapons not needing to reload while being told to hold position, which resulted in a higher rate of fire. They fixed coolant rachnoids teleporting to unrelated defense objectives in the Orb Valis, that being Voxelara's final mission, the base captures and more. They chat linked infested K drives appearing as its normal variant, Ivara's Artemis Prime bow energy color remaining default blue even after changing Ivara's energy color, an odd camera placement for Ticker's Star Day's affection diorama, a script error when deactivating Nezh's divine spears, script errors when Venari attacks, and DE fixed a crash that could occur when transitioning from Cetus to the Plains of Eidolon. That concludes the patch notes for update 29.9. Once again, Octavia Prime Access is live on all platforms, and if you want to pick it up in-game, relics were on your screen at the start of this video, and the Prime Access page on the Warframe website, linked in the description if you just want to go purchase it. Anyway, that concludes the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!